The oboe is a member of the woodwind family. Now within that family, we have the flute that has no reed, the clarinet and saxophone which have a single reed, and then we have the oboe and bassoon that have a double reed. Now just like the flute has the piccolo, and the clarinet has bass, clarinet, A, clarinet, E flat, clarinet, the oboe also has variations. And one of those variations is the oboe d'amour. The oboe d'amour was more common during the Baroque period, and it is less commonplace to use one nowadays. And also you have the English horn. Now the English horn is similar to a bass clarinet to a clarinet. It is a larger version of the oboe, and actually has some distinct features. So it actually has a crook, instead of just the reed, as a little metal piece that goes out and curves that you put your reed on. And that just makes it more comfortable to play since, it's a, it, since it is a much larger instrument. Now also another thing to note is if you were to look at the clarinet and the oboe, they look like very similar instruments. But the key again goes to how it is played. The clarinet only has a single reed that is attached to a mouthpiece by a ligature Whereas the oboe has a double reed, which is connected to this little piece of cork that you just slide in. And the double reed, the way that it's played, is you pout out your lip and put the reed in the middle of your bottom lip. And then you just curl it in and you are ready to play. And that sound, which you might hear uh, double reed players make when they want to check if their reed is moist enough, is called a peep. The oboe actually was descended from the zurna and the sham. During the Renaissance, the sham was very popular, but by the 18th century, as the oboe became more refined, it became commonplace in orchestras. And its name derives from the French word hobo, which translates to high wind or loud wind, which isn't surprising because it is used as the tuning instrument since the sound can pierce through other instruments. And now for a short duet, Vi Gavot by Giovanni Martini.